I want a divorce. W wait a minute, Daichi. What did I do to upset you? Tell me. I want a divorce, and that's final. And what'd you do to this food? How many times do I have to tell you that I like my rice soft? It's too hard. How am I supposed to eat this? You don't have to get that upset over something that trivial. What did you say? You'll think that is trivial. Well, to me, it's very, very, very important. You ruined an entire meal for me. Every meal is precious in life, you know. Are you happy now? I'm really annoyed with you this time. This time, I really want a divorce. Go on, sign the papers. Hurry up and sign them. I'm giving you 10 seconds to sign them. 10, nine, eight. But he always says that. Every day, he brings out the divorce papers and orders me to sign them. But if I mention that, he'll just get even angrier. Two and one. I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. I was wrong to argue back to you. Please, don't divorce me. I'm tired of you apologizing to me. I know. Fork like a dog. If you do as I say, I'll think about forgiving you. All right. Woof. <laughs> I can't believe you actually did it. Fine, I'll let you off this time. But well, listen to me. If you don't want a divorce, you better not upset me ever again. Understood. You supposed to bark like a dog? Woof. <laughs> my name is Minori. I'm 25 years old and I'm a housewife. Day in, day out, my husband Daichi brings out these papers and threatens me with divorce. The reason why I'm still with him despite that is because I really do love him. I've got to do better to make sure I don't upset him and keep him happy. I don't want to get a divorce. But one day, when I came home from doing the grocery shopping... Hello, miss! Hi, sweetheart. Do you need some help? Reen is Reen. Your name is Reen? That's a lovely name. Thank you for telling me. My name is Minori. Minori, I have something I want to ask you. Something to ask me? I wonder what it is. Yeah, Minori, um, are you the type of person that wants to protect someone they love? Even if you have to, uh, s sacrifice yourself? Huh? Yay, I read it! Well done to me. What do you think, Minori? Yeah, I wouldn't want you to do the same thing, but I guess I am that kind of person. But if you don't want me to do the same thing, then why are you doing it? Well, Reen, the thing is, sacrificing yourself means that you have to be very patient with a lot of things. And it means that you'll feel very hurt. You might even feel like you want to disappear sometimes. You'll end up hurting yourself. So I wouldn't wish anyone to be like me. Does that make sense? Yeah, it was a little hard, but I understand one thing. I don't want you to hurt yourself either, Minori. What? Minori, make sure you take care of yourself. Bye-bye. I gotta pass the baton on. You've gotta pass the baton on? <laughs> My plan worked. I thought you'd be more honest if you were asked by a child. And I was right. Anyway, I've been looking for you for a long time. Minori, I'm gonna demean you. Huh? But I don't think we ever met before. What are you talking about? Of course we never met. But you said you've been looking for me. It's just a habit. A habit? Yeah. And who even are you? My name is Ami. I work to demean every human on Earth, especially Tsubaki. I don't understand what she's talking about, but I understand this much. I should just ignore her. I've got to run away. Hey, wait a second! Stop! Phew, I managed to get away. I wonder what that woman wanted. No, no, it's best that I just forget about her. But I can't forget about what Reen said to me. She said that she didn't want me to hurt myself either. Oh, you're home! What's for dinner? I was thinking about making your favorite, beef stew. You gonna make me beef stew? Is something wrong? I want a divorce. You can't change my mind. No matter what you say, I'm not forgiving you. What? Here you go. Sign those documents. But why? Why? You seriously don't understand? Didn't you see the results of my health checkup? And you want to make me beef stew? My uric acid levels are too high. Do you want to see me suffering from gout? Th that's not what I meant. I don't. When did you get your test results? I got them today. You didn't even know when I was going to get my results back. What kind of wife are you? I can't believe it. I'm really sorry. How was I supposed to know that? I bet Daichi didn't even know that himself. I want a divorce and that's final. But please, don't do that. Forgive me. I don't want to get divorced. Please, so I'll just throw these papers away. His temper always improves after I throw the divorce papers away. No, I want you out. I don't even want to look at you. I was forced out of the house with no chance to grab any of my things. Daichi, is he being serious this time? 
What do I do? If we get divorced, how am I going to... <laughs> it's punishment for being so stupid. I'll give her the night to think about what she's done. What should I do tonight? I don't have my purse or my phone. I'm not even wearing any shoes. It's scary, but I'll have to spend the night in the park. <laughs> Wait, you're, you're the weird woman I met the other day. You're being rude. I'm not weird and I have a name, Ami. I told you, I'm working to demean every human on Earth, especially Sabaki. That's what makes you weird. How dare you? Anyway, I need to talk to you. I've got to run. H hey, wait. This is horrible. Daichi kicked me out and now I'm being chased by the weird woman I met the other day. I don't want to get caught. I have a bad feeling about what will happen if I do. Ow! Oh no, I hurt my knee. Hey, are you okay? Huh? You're barefoot? I was right after all. Don't come any closer. Oh, come on. I'm not going to eat you. I'm just here on behalf of your dad. He told me that he was worried about you and asked me to check on you to see how you are. What? My dad asked you to come and see me? Are you telling the truth? It's true, Minori. I don't have any reason to lie to you. She knows my name, so I guess she is telling the truth after all. But why? Why is your dad worried? I think you already know the answer to that. No, I don't. Your leg hurts from falling over, doesn't it? Yeah, of course it hurts. What's her point? That injury. What would your dad think if he saw it? I don't think he would think anything. Yeah, that's true. He might not worry over something as small as that cut on your knee. But if it was a bigger injury, then I think your dad would be pretty sad, don't you think? Well, yeah, I guess he would, but... Right? That isn't limited to physical injuries. I think mental injuries count, too. Mental injuries? Yeah. Your dad would be sad if you were suffering from an injury of the heart, or if you were in great pain. You might think that you're enduring that pain for your dad's sake, but that's exactly why he's suffering, too. What are you talking about? I guess it makes sense, but what else can I do? There's nothing else I can do. I don't have any other choice. I hate to say it, that method of demeaning people is mistaken. Then what are you saying I should do? This is the only solution I could think of. <laughs> Why do you think I'm here? What? The next day. She's late. How long is she gonna take? I guess I don't have to worry. I threw the papers away as usual, so she should come back. I'll have to give her a good telling off when she gets back. I'm back. Hey, you're late. Hurry up and make lunch. Today I feel like eating beef stew. Oh, and don't think about reheating yesterday's stew. I want you to make it all over again. I was out because you told me to leave. What's that? Even if I did, you should have been back this morning. And you should be begging for forgiveness when it's already past noon. Don't you have any common sense? What's that supposed to mean? Don't you have anything to say to me? I really will divorce you. But you don't want that, do you, you parasite? If we get divorced, you won't have any way of paying for your dad's medical bills, right? But we're already divorced. I filed the divorce papers. What? You already filed the papers? But I threw them away. The papers you threw away were fake. What? I've been waiting for this chance. That's why I always had a set of fake documents prepared to throw away. Every time he handed me the papers, I would hide them in my pocket. You what? So, I'm leaving. Wait a minute! Are you sure you want to do that? Well, what about your dad's treatment? You don't have to worry about that. I have an idea. Huh, an idea? What can you do? I'm going to restart my dad's company, the one you bankrupted. I'm going to be the new CEO. You can't be serious! My dad used to own a company, but one day, Daichi's company suddenly announced that they were going to cancel all the contracts they had together. Daichi spoke to my dad and offered to continue doing business with us if I agreed to marry him. He put that condition out in exchange for saving us from bankruptcy, but my dad refused the offer. It didn't take long for the company's profits to decline, and it went bankrupt soon after. Due to the stress he suffered, my dad became ill and had to be hospitalized. We needed money to pay for his treatment, but we were already in debt after having lost the company. Daichi approached me when I was trying to figure out what to do, and told me he would pay for my dad's treatment if I married him. He had left me with no other choice, so I agreed to his proposal. I knew that my dad would have never agreed to it, so I didn't tell him what I had done. I don't love Daichi at all. I never have. I just needed a lie to trick myself. The truth was, I despised him. Even if you did manage to restore his company, I'm not gonna do business with you. Do you understand? You're just gonna go bankrupt all over again. And you can't honestly think that you have the talent for running a company. Oh, really? We won't know that until I've actually tried. Either way, I'm gonna pack my things and leave. Trust me, I know that you can't run a business. But go ahead and try. 
A few months later, Daichi came to my company and made his way to my office. Hey! Daichi, is something the matter? Damn you. I can't believe you can afford an office in an area like this. I heard that your company was making a lot of money. Looks like the rumors were true. If you don't have anything important to say to me, then I'd like you to leave. I'm busy. I do have something to say. It's extremely important. But please, help me. You've got to do business with my company. I thought that you said you would never do business with me. Uh, well, that was... Uh, look, I suddenly lost all of my contracts. At uh, this rate, I'll go bankrupt. I'm begging you. I don't mind marrying you again, so please. You don't mind marrying me? No, thanks. I'm not interested. Who is this? Tsubaki. This is my ex-husband. Oh, so you're the one that was married to Minori. Who the hell are you? I'm talking to Minori, so get out of here. Daichi, this is Tsubaki Kasanoi. You've heard of Tsukato Financial Group, haven't you? Her father is the owner. Tsubaki Kasanoi? You're the, you're the, you know the daughter of the Kasanoi? Since when? Then that's why I lost three contracts? Everything makes sense now. Minori, I'm begging you, please! Tell Subaki to help my company, you've got to help me! I'm not doing anything for you. Companies that are run by people like you are better off gone. Anyway, Minori, let's get back to our meeting. That's a great idea. Wait, wait a minute! I want you to leave. I have nothing else to say to you. Yo! Oh, wait, I do. Really? You help me? I want you to pay me compensation. What? If you refuse to pay, then I'll leave the Castellanoian's personal lawyer fight for Minori and defeat you in court. What are you talking about? After that, Daichi's company went bankrupt. Daichi owned a substantial amount of money after losing his company, and he owed a lot more after he was ordered to pay me a lot in compensation. You call this a massage? Put your back into it harder! Like this? Not there. Lower than that. Here? Yeah? Lower. Much lower. These ain't your shoulders. Did you say something? No, I didn't say anything! I'm going to bully you just as much as you bullied that poor ex-wife of yours, so no complaining! God! Stronger! Oh, that's much better, much better! I can't do this anymore! What did you say? As you can see, Daichi ended up working day and night for a scary gay bar owner through the introduction of the loan sharks he owed money to. I passed him in town the other day, but it looked like he had lost a lot of weight due to the stress of his new job. That's what you get. Dad, are you really? Are you really getting discharged next week? Yeah, it's true. Finally, thank goodness. I'm so happy. <laughs> Amy, thank you so much. This is all thanks to you. No, I haven't done anything. You're all better thanks to the doctors. No, not that. I'm talking about Minori. Thank you for saving her. I've got to thank you as well. I was able to get away from him thanks to you. I owe you so much. And I have a feeling that the reason why my dad got better so suddenly is because he didn't have to worry about me anymore. I was the one that was causing him so much stress in the first place. You don't need to thank me. I just helped you because I felt like it. It turns out that Ami knew my dad because she was a new nurse at the hospital that my dad was admitted to. When I was still living with Daichi, he wouldn't ever allow me to visit my dad in the hospital, so I never had the chance to meet her. Ami then introduced me to Tsubaki, who invested in my company using the Kasanoin's money. That's how I managed to get my company up and running. She was the one that introduced me to all the clients I have today, and thanks to her, my company has been very successful, and I was able to pay off my father's hospital bills without any problem. You know what? I just did my job as a nurse, that's all. I only did it because it's my job. It's part of my duty to help with a patient's mental care. Honestly, why do you have to be so difficult, Ami? Huh? Who are you again? It's me, Sus! No, wait! I'm Koharu! Come to think of it, you and Ami haven't seen each other much recently. Yeah, because Ami asked me to investigate Daichi and his company covertly. I was working. I'm just kidding, Koharu. I'm really grateful for that. What? What's up with you today? It's just em embarrassing if you think me like that. <laughs> I can't believe you get embarrassed about something like that. You say that, but your ears have gone bright red, Ami. Huh? What? <laughs> I have not gone red. You have to. I have not. Have to. Bad girls, it's a hospital. You can't be so loud. Subaki, you're so cute. Hey, stop that and think about what you've done. <laughs> Thank you all so much for everything you've done. 
I think you should be okay from now on, but don't ever think about sacrificing yourself for someone important to you. You should do your best to find a way to save them without having to sacrifice yourself. If you can't find anything by yourself, you can always ask us to think with you. Of course. And then, the following week, my dad was discharged from the hospital, and he's currently helping me to run my company. I really am grateful to Ami, Subaki, and Koharu, and also to Reen for their help. From now on, I'm going to take good care of my loved ones, but also, I've got to take care of myself, not just for my own sake, but so that I don't hurt the people that want to see me happy.